The image on your screen depicts our very own planet Earth, taken from a distance of approximately 6 billion kilometers. Captured by NASA's renowned spacecraft Voyager 1, this photo is a testament to the remarkable accomplishments of space exploration. On February 14, 1990, Voyager 1 immortalized our world. The entire human experience, every tangible thing you have ever come into contact with, is encapsulated in this tiny blue dot. However, it is unfortunate that a mere 34 minutes after capturing this iconic image, Voyager 1's camera was turned off. Despite still soaring through space, the spacecraft is no longer capable of capturing any new images. Remarkably, Voyager 1 remains the farthest human-made object to have ever ventured into space, currently located roughly 24 billion kilometers from us and continuing on its journey. The question that begs to be asked is, why was the camera turned off? Fear not, for we shall provide you with this answer by the end of this video, so be sure to stick around until the very end. You are watching Futuristic YouTube Channel. Please subscribe to the channel. The Voyager spacecraft is a trailblazer in space exploration, smashing countless records in the illustrious industry. It has pushed the boundaries of space technology, unraveling mysteries that have long eluded us. Despite being launched 45 years ago, the spacecraft continues to function seamlessly. It is worth noting that the Voyager spacecraft was constructed using technology and computers from the 1970s, a time when computer technology was far less advanced than it is today. Therefore, it is truly remarkable that this spacecraft has continued to operate faultlessly for too long. The scientists behind the Voyager 1 project worked tirelessly to incorporate futuristic technologies into the spacecraft, exemplified by the camera system. The fact that this camera system is still functioning to this day is a testament to the brilliance of the scientists who designed and implemented it. Voyager 1 is equipped with two Vidicon cameras, which were cutting-edge television cameras of their time. These cameras were able to convert analog signals into digital signals, and could take 8-bit images with resolutions of 800 by 800 pixels. While today's mobile phones are capable of taking far superior and clearer photos, it is important to know that this technology was developed over 50 years ago. One of these cameras was a wide-angle camera, allowing it to capture large photos with ease. The second camera was a narrow-angle lens that allowed for detailed shots of small objects. As Voyager 1 ventured further from our solar system, scientists shifted from using the wide-angle lens to the narrow-angle lens. This was because when the spacecraft was still within our solar system, it needed to photograph a large area, so the wide-angle lens was more appropriate. However, as Voyager 1 moved farther away, the planets started to appear blurry, making the narrow-angle lens the better choice for capturing detailed images. When light from an object was detected by the Voyager 1 camera, it did not directly enter the camera. Instead, it first had to pass through a filter wheel that contained filters for violet, blue, green, and orange light. Light from any planet passed through all of these filters, and scientists obtained a different image for each color. This helped provide a better understanding of the elements present on each planet. When all of these pictures were combined, a color image was created that displayed the planet's true colors. It's interesting to note that our eyesight work in a similar way to the Voyager 1 camera. Our eyes also have three color filters, red, green, and blue, and our brain combines the images from these filters to create the perception of true color. Because our brain is incredibly fast at processing this information, we don't even realize that the things we see are actually composed of three different colors. Well, coming back to our topic, when light from an object passed through the filter wheel, it was directed towards a Viticon tube that converted the image into an electric signal preparing it for transmission to Earth. However, transmitting images from billions of kilometers away was no easy feat. Each picture carried 5 million bits of information, equivalent to half of today's megabytes. Although not considered large by today's standards, transmitting this data over long distances presented a significant challenge. When the Voyager spacecraft was launched into space, it took approximately 43 seconds to send a picture due to the data transmission capacity of 115,000 bits per second. Today, this capacity has decreased to a mere 160 bits per second. This implies that if the spacecraft were to send a picture now, it would take 8 hours to transmit just one image. Furthermore, given that the spacecraft is located approximately 24 billion kilometers from Earth, it would take an extended period for the picture to arrive here. Thus, it would take approximately 21 hours for a single image to travel from the spacecraft to Earth, a significant amount of time. Although the cameras on board the spacecraft were able to rapidly capture images, sending them back to Earth was a time-consuming process. As a result, these images were temporarily stored in a device known as a magnetic tape. However, as the tape became increasingly full, 
it became clear that the new pictures could no longer be stored. When the spacecraft had a strong connection to Earth, the stored images were transmitted back to the ground for analysis. Unfortunately, there came a point when the scientists had to shut down all of the spacecraft's camera instruments. And to this day, more than 30 years later, not a single image has been received from the spacecraft. As the spacecraft took its final photograph, it was situated 6 billion kilometers away from the Earth. At this distance, everything appeared as minuscule dots, and it was about to become the first human-made object to enter our solar system. Scientists were eager to document the spacecraft's exit, and planned to detect plasma particles emanating from the sun using the spacecraft's instruments. Although the spacecraft still had a few decades before it would exit the solar system, its lifespan had to be extended to ensure continued communication. When the spacecraft was launched, it consumed approximately 450 watts of power, but now it consumes only half of that. This is due to the gradual disabling of several instruments, including the camera, which consumed 42 watts of power alone. In addition, the associated software was also removed, further reducing the spacecraft's power consumption. Scientists are committed to maintaining contact with the spacecraft for as long as possible. The harsh conditions of space may have rendered the spacecraft's cameras inoperable, but what if we could reactivate them? Some skeptics believe that the spacecraft's cameras would only capture images of darkness, as it has now traveled too far from the sun, and nothing of interest exists in the area. However, with a little calculation, it becomes apparent that sunlight is still reaching the spacecraft even after such a great distance. In fact, this light is 16 times brighter than the moon. While we may only be able to see the sun as a single pixel, we would also capture images of some of the larger planets on our solar system. Surprisingly, even after being situated so far from Earth, the position of the stars visible from the spacecraft has not changed. Scientists explain that if we want to observe even the slightest change in star positions, we will have to wait millions of years until the spacecraft is completely defunct. If fuel wasn't an issue, and we could turn the cameras of Voyager back, in addition to capturing images of the sun and planets, the spacecraft could provide valuable insights into the nature of interstellar space. As the spacecraft ventures further and further away from our solar system, it will encounter regions of space that have never been directly observed by humans. By capturing images of these regions, scientists could gain new information about the distribution of matter in our galaxy, as well as the conditions that prevail in the interstellar medium. Additionally, the Voyager spacecraft itself could serve as a scientific instrument, as its changing position relative to distant stars could provide data on the curative of space and the properties of gravity. While reactivating the spacecraft's cameras would require a significant effort and investment, the potential scientific rewards could be substantial. Furthermore, as the Voyager spacecraft continues its journey into deep space, it serves as a powerful symbol of human exploration and ingenuity, reminding us of our ability to push the boundaries of knowledge and adventure into the unknown. If you were in control of the Voyager spacecraft and had the opportunity to capture an image of any spectacular wonder of space, which celestial object would you choose to photograph? Be sure to share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.